I'm pleased to share with you this devotional today from uh, the book of 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter 5, verses 17 and following. It reads as follows. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them, and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. This uh, uh, devotional is about reconciliation, and you can see that uh, Jesus is the great reconciler. He is the one who has uh, come to us to reconcile, meaning make us uh, agree with a friendly relationship with the Lord. Uh, he is the one who uh, was the bridge so that uh, the hostility that was between God and ourselves could be broken down and a new relationship uh, given. It is Jesus who is the great reconciler, and he is the one who has given to us as the church and those in the church the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, the ministry of helping people agree one with another. These last uh, several weeks have been filled with uh, stories that we've seen in the news and events that have uh, shown people coming apart and not uh, coming together. And I guess I'd like to uh, challenge us uh, today to think uh, about uh, the power that is found in Jesus as the great reconciler. Uh, do you have hope in that? Um, you know, when things seem like they're coming apart, it's easily it's easy to despair, but we can have hope in this for Jesus has brought us to himself and we can bring others uh, to each other as well as bring others to our Lord. When there are times that uh, I despair uh, about uh, how things look in the world, I try and think of uh, those who are reconcilers or who have become reconcilers. And I'm encouraged by one of my former students uh, at uh, Tyndale Seminary. Uh, her name is Rada Sramats. Uh, Rada uh, came uh, from uh, the areas of Serbia and was well uh, familiar with uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and uh, the conflict that was there in the 1990s. I recall one conversation that I had with Rada one day. Uh, we were uh, together at um, uh, eating together over lunch with about uh, five or six other people around us, and uh, I was just asking about her growing up experience. And she was sharing about uh, her growing up experience in Novi Sad, uh, Serbia, that's in East Europe, uh, and how uh, United Nations planes were bombing her city. And I remember her saying, yes, uh, as a young girl, uh, she went to sleep at night, not uh, certain what would happen. Uh, but then she'd wake up the next day and realize oh, there are a few bridges in her uh, city were no longer there because of the United Nations uh, having uh, bombed them. And of course, this left a great impression on Rada's uh, life, uh, but she came to know Jesus, the great reconciler. And as she started to think about this, she realized that this could be a hope for the Balkan area of East Europe, which has been uh, split uh, uh, racially and uh, religiously and uh, ethnically so much uh, over the years. But she found hope in Jesus, the great reconciler, and she continues that hope, continued that hope while in seminary, writing about Christ as the reconciler of nations. And then she has now gone on to work uh, and, at uh, the United Nations in The Hague, where she is the head of, out, of the outreach program at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. I think of Rada and I think of her experience and how she found Jesus to be the great reconciler. And that encourages me uh, to think that even when things may be pulling apart, uh, there are people that still have faith in Jesus as the great reconciler and still have committed to the ministry of reconciling people one to another. So my encouragement for us uh, today is to think of that great word reconciliation, to think of Jesus as that great reconciler, and then remember that there are many Christians, older and younger than us, uh, that are very much involved with that ministry. And please join us in reconciling people one to another, being a peacemaker and a bridge builder. May God's blessing be with you today.